One question that I get from time to time is why white label? Why should I become a white label reseller? Lots of people who are, you know, looking around online at various business opportunities, various work from home, various, uh, you know, get rich quick things even, you know, they come and they look at white label and they go, why that? Why would I want to be a white label reseller? Why wouldn't I want to be an affiliate? Or why wouldn't I want to, you know, go ahead and start a YouTube channel and, you know, try to, you know, become YouTube famous or, you know, whatever. Um, and I tell people it's a pretty straightforward proposition. If you want to become, you know, YouTube famous or if you want to become, you know, a Twitter superstar or whatever it is, you're going to have to invest years of your life. And it's about a 90 percent chance you're going to get absolutely nowhere. If you want to sign up to an MLM, and try to make money that way. You probably don't stand a very good chance of making any money. Most affiliates generate, you know, very, very peanut money, right? Most affiliates, 90% of affiliates, you know, they make enough money to afford like, you know, a lobster dinner twice a year or something like that. But if you come into the white label industry, if you decide, hey, I'm going to come into this industry, you know, I'm going to start learning digital marketing services, I'm not going to learn them really deeply, but I'm going to learn enough. And then I'm going to really apply myself to marketing. And I'm going to buckle down and I'm going to spend, you know, let's just let's just be really, you know, out there and say, you're going to spend four hours a day. That's it, right? You're going to keep your full-time job. You're going to get home. You're going to sit down. You're going to spend four hours into the evening, you know, let's say three nights a week, right? Working on marketing and working on your side hustle or working on this industry, this business. If you really do that and you're somebody with, you know, basic wherewithal to, you know, go and conduct demonstrations you know, you've got some modest resources, a computer, an internet connection, a phone. Um, you can expect, honestly, to do miles, miles, leagues better than the people going that other route. Be and it's very simple because you're engaging in an actual industry with actual viable solutions that are being sold to people who actually need them. It's kind of like this. And I like I liken it to the real world, like a real world business. What stands a better chance of success? Going down to the local Quickie Mart and buying $100 worth of lottery tickets or learning to be an auto mechanic, right? Who's going to, at the end of a year, who's going to make more money? Well, I mean, it's a pretty safe bet that the lotto ticket guy, gal, is going to just fall on their face. They're not going to make anything. It's also a pretty safe bet that if you learn an actual skilled trade, then you go out there and apply it. There's a market of people who need to buy it or want to buy it. That you may not be successful every time. You may not be the most successful person. You may be middling at what you're doing, but you're going to get somewhere. And when it comes to the white label industry, I can't count on all the digits I have, the people I know who have become wildly successful, really successful, who founded agencies, who've gone on to make hundreds of thousands. I don't know about millions, but hundreds of thousands of dollars. I've seen them very successful. I've seen people buy boats and homes and do all kinds of great stuff with white label dollars. I've never met a single person who did any of that stuff, except for that funny haired dude on YouTube. You know, other than him, I don't know anybody who's saying they were successful at, at any of these get rich quick schemes. I, I don't, not real people I've actually known. I'm not saying they aren't, they don't exist because hell, all kinds of stuff exists out there. But that's why I advocate for the white label industry. Now, Obviously, I'm biased. I've been in this business for a long time. The reason I've been in it for a long time is because it's a viable industry, right? I'm not stupid. I would not be in an industry if I didn't make some money. So, you know, it's an industry that has viability because you're ultimately you're selling solutions. You're connecting a buyer and a seller together where both ends are, you know, profit, profiting somehow or benefiting somehow from that means of exchange. So it's not a situation where you're creating victims, right? Like in a scheme or a scam or something like that. It's a situation where you're connecting a buyer who desperately needs a service with a seller who really wants a sale. So there's actual value exchange there. There's actual viability there. This is a legitimate, real, ongoing industry. It's an industry where lots of people make their living at it each and every day. So that's, you know, my take on what I would say to somebody who asks me, why white label Jake? Why should I go into this industry? That would be my answer. Anyhow, if you like this vid, sub to the channel and uh, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Give me your take on it. Why do you think the white label industry is good, bad or ugly? Love to hear from you. See you in the next vid.